Hello everyone, I'm back. I'll continue uh, with this key point that I'm trying to drive home, which is that a lot of people seem to say, oh yeah, I believe the gospel. Like, let's use John MacArthur as an example. Nothing against the guy, but he says he believes the gospel. He believes that salvation is the gift of grace received through faith, but he's got something to add to it, which is that also you have to not commit sins. The problem with this is that it's not just adding something, it's negating the first part of the statement, which the gospel is that Jesus Christ's death upon the cross and his blood is su sufficient for anyone to enter into heaven. So if you say you believe that, but you then say, but also you have to turn from your sins in order to show you have faith or however they formulate it verbally, the problem is, is that that second idea negates the first idea. You can't believe both. Either you have faith and you believe the gospel, that Jesus Christ is the one who saves you and gets you into heaven, or you don't believe that. And if you believe that you have to add works to it, or that you don't have faith unless you do something, unless you do anything, then you don't believe the gospel. Um, so, this goes for the belief that we could lose our salvation. Anyone who says that we can lose our salvation does not believe the gospel. Because if you can lose your salvation, then your salvation rests on something that you do. In some form or another, what you do uh, ultimately contributes to your salvation. But if you believe this, then you can't believe that Jesus Christ uh, has paid for your sin, and that salvation rests entirely on him. Um, it's the antithesis of the gospel to think that salvation depends on anything that we do, that those are our works. Anything we do or don't do uh, are our works. Uh, but if you believe that salvation requires those, then you're saying that the blood of Jesus Christ is not enough to save you, and that is a direct denial of the gospel. Um, we receive salvation when we have faith or we believe that what Jesus did is enough to get us into heaven. Uh, it's the gift of God, a gift of grace, which is unmerited favor. So those who believe that salvation can be lost, believe that salvation is merited favor, that it's deserved somehow, and that it is not a gift, but it is a just compensation. Uh, they believe that it is received through works, but the truth is that it is received through faith in the work of Jesus Christ, not our own. Uh, if you believe that sin has any power to send you to hell, uh, then you are not believing in the power of Jesus Christ to forgive your sins. Did the death of Jesus Christ on the cross uh, forgive our sins or didn't it? Um, those who are saying that our sins can send us to hell uh, as believers in Jesus Christ saying that we have to turn from our sin in order to not go to hell, clearly don't believe that the blood of Jesus has paid for our sins once and for all. If you believe that the fruit that you bear uh, is payment for entering heaven, then you do not have faith in the blood of Jesus Christ as the payment for entering heaven. It's really that simple. Um, now, if you believe that we need both the death of Jesus Christ on the cross and our own works for salvation— um, then we get sal uh, that we get salvation by believing on Jesus, but then you must keep it with good behavior, then you are saying that the death of Jesus Christ in and of itself is not enough to pay for your sins. Uh, if you believe this, that our own works must be added to secure salvation, then you do not believe that the death of Jesus Christ is sufficient to save anyone. To say that the death of Jesus on the cross is not sufficient to save anyone is to deny the gospel. Um, salvation, salvation is not a set of actions that you do or don't do, what the Bible calls works. Salvation is a person, and that person is not you or me or John MacArthur. That person is Jesus Christ. Um, to say that salvation is a process is to say that salvation is a series of actions, a set of works which you do over time. If you do the right works, you go to heaven. But if you do the wrong works, you go to hell. Well, in that case, success or failure, salvation or damnation depends on you and what you do. Um, 
So these people believe that us doing the right action and keeping the law can get us into heaven. But what gets us into heaven is believing the gospel, believing the truth. The truth is Jesus Christ. What gets us into heaven is the death of Jesus Christ upon the cross, his burial and his resurrection, nothing more and nothing less. Um, the payment for our sins is not the fruit that we bear. The payment for our sins was not made by us at all. Jesus made the payment for our sins by shedding his blood. This is the only payment which is acceptable to God, the blood of the only sin, sinless man who ever walked the earth. Um, so to threaten believers in Jesus Christ with hell for committing sins is to deny the gospel itself. Um, so I've repeated myself a lot there, <laughs> but that this is the very essence of the gospel, and I hope you can see that, it, that there's no middle ground with this. Either Jesus' death and our faith in that uh, gets us into heaven, it's enough or it's not enough. Um, and uh, so I hope you agree with me there. Uh, and if you believe in Jesus Christ, rejoice because you have salvation. If you trust in what Jesus did, you have the only means of salvation, as the scripture tells us in so many places. Yes, you are guilty. Yes, you are unworthy. But by believing in Jesus Christ, it doesn't matter that you're not worthy because your sins are wiped away. Jesus took your place. He bore the punishment for your sins, which you rightly deserve. And as a result, you do not need to do any works whatsoever. In fact, there's no works that you could do if you wanted to. That being said, of course we should bear fruit. Of course we should do whatever works we can. Of course we should resist sin as much as we can. But all of this is a separate issue from the issue of salvation which comes from believing the gospel. So I wanted to emphasize that today. Uh, and for tomorrow, I've prepared a sermon which goes more deeply into the question of why do people want to add works to it? Why is this always happening? Why do we have all these people who say that they believe in Jesus Christ as the Savior? They say they believe the gospel. They've studied the scripture. They're preachers. And yet they've got to add works into it. Why is this always occurring again and again in so many different systems, whether it's Roman Catholicism or Lordship Salvation, what is going on here and why are the preachers always trying to add works to it and in so doing, denying the gospel itself? So I've prepared, uh, I went as deeply as I could into the question uh, and I will share that with you tomorrow. But for now, this is one sinner, Evan Carey, signing off and wishing everyone a most wonderful day. May the Lord Jesus Christ continue to bless and protect each and every one of you. Praise the Lord. Amen.